Welcome back everybody. We're here to pull cards for August the 12th. I'm going to be pulling one card for each particular sign. So if you know where your placements are, you can look at your sun, your rising, your moon. You, you can look at your Venus sign, your Jupiter sign, your Saturn sign, etc., etc. And pull a lot of information out of a tiny little reading like this. Don't forget the comment uh, contest is still going, so put a comment underneath the video if you wish to be entered into the drawing at the end of the month. All right, let's get started. Aries for the 12th. You have the three of wands coming up. I feel like a lot of you Aries will actually be doing some traveling on the 12th. Some of you may be only planning travel, but I feel like a lot of you will be traveling or in motion on the 12th. Taurus. Six of wands showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you have a situation where you're feeling uh, unappreciated, like people are not noticing the things that you're doing to help them. Gemini, Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse just means that you've been really generous to somebody in your sphere of influence in the hopes that that generosity would help them to be able to move forward and become more empowered. And what you're seeing is that it's not actually helping them to become more empowered. What it's helping them to do is to become more dependent on you. And so what we see you doing here, Gemini, is cutting off that generosity so that this other person or these other people will start to find solutions for themselves that don't involve just running to you. Okay, next up we have Cancer. Cancer, we do have the Ten of Wands showing up in reverse. This just means that you are dropping some kind of responsibility. Uh, maybe this is walking away from job responsibilities. This could be uh, maybe normally uh, you would be taking your parents grocery shopping today and you're not doing that today for whatever reason. You know, this is some type of responsibility that is being dropped. Sometimes they're actually forgotten, but usually it's something that it just doesn't need to happen this particular time. Okay, so that is Cancer. Next up, we're going to look at Leo. So Leo's what you guys have coming up here is the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Now Eight of Swords in Reverse is just telling me that you did have a situation that was making you feel paralyzed or held back. You did not know how to move forward with that situation and you've been able to take a good look at it and figure out where your restriction or limitation was. Generally with this card we were putting those restrictions or limitations on ourselves. Nobody else actually was and now you're finding how to break free from that limitation or restriction that you had placed on your Yourself. Okay, next up we have Virgo. Virgos, here we see you holding back on something. You could be holding back on your emotions, but for you Virgos, I'm feeling like the majority of you, what we're talking about is you're holding back on money. You are saving some money back so that you can have some for later. Okay, next up we're looking at Libra. So Libra, we have the Magician showing up in reverse. Magician in reverse just means there's somebody around in your sphere of influence who is not shooting straight from the hip. This could be anything from a practical joker to an all-out fraudulent con man. All right, next up we have Scorpio. Scorpios, we do have the Seven of Coins showing up in reverse. Seven of Coins in reverse is telling me that uh, we may have been expecting to get some kind of pay today and we are finding out that we're going to have to wait for that. It's not happening right when we thought it would. Sagittarius, you guys have the Queen of Swords showing up. This is just telling me that you are putting on your logical cap today. You're trying to look at everything in the most logical way that you can, not the most inspired or with the most emotion, but really you're just trying to stick with back, uh, stick with the facts and boil everything down to the bottom line. All right, next up we have Capricorn, and Capricorn, what you have showing up is the Ace of Wands in reverse. With this card, this is telling me that you have an idea about something that you could do, although that idea is not making you feel very inspired at the moment. All right, so that was Capricorn. Next, we are going to look at Aquarius. 
You guys have the Empress showing up in reverse for you, Aquarians. Today, I do feel like the Empress in reverse just talks about somebody that you're interacting with. So um, for those of you who are interested in females as romantic partners, then this could be that you're interacting with somebody who is the queen of your heart, somebody who you really are in love with. Um, and for others of you, you are simply interacting with somebody who is very attractive and also who's very good at bringing beauty and um, things that are healthy and good into her life. She's good at manifesting those good things. Okay, and let's see. Next up is Pisces. So Pisces, you guys have the Page of Wands. This just means you're getting some kind of message in that is giving you the go-ahead to move forward with something that makes you feel inspired and happy and, and that you're eager to get working on or get active in. Thank you guys very much for being here. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and the comments. Don't forget, if you want to be in the contest, put a comment down below. Thank you also to those of you who are booking private readings, private Reiki sessions, getting Reiki candles from me. All of those things, plus everything you guys do for me here on YouTube, all helps to support me to do what I love to do for my living. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Everybody have a fantastic day. Peace out.